Okay, uh, welcome to my little Facebook SimCity social uh, tutorial. I'm going to talk about how I got to 50,000 population and uh, give you some tips on how to get that many people and also some tricks and things that I'm in love with and don't really like. Um, so first we get this pop-up. Um, if you don't like this game, you don't watch this video because this is only for people that can get past all of the uh, crappy Zynga little hooks that they put in the game and um, I'm gonna ignore all of the all of the obvious uh, social hooks that people find aggravating um, and just get into the heart of the game and what makes it actually playable. Um, so of course gotta click off of this to see my city. Um, this is a current uh, promotion and they do these kind of urgent things to keep you playing um, with you know time-based missions and quests that you have to complete in a certain amount of time it gives you an added sense of urgency um, they're pretty fun so first of all here's how my city's laid out um, I'm gonna go full screen it's pretty much the only way to play uh, and what I've done is I've tried to get my population along the waterfront. Um, I don't have any factories or any businesses along the waterfronts, all homes. Um, I have these clusters, these rings of residential areas with large attractions in the middle that gives them a huge bonus. Um, I know that if you put your factories um, near the waterfront, you get uh, production bonuses but I feel like I'm more about getting the population up and then I can just keep farming for materials and simoleons um, and, and uh, lose that ac actual bonus of the waterfront so I don't really mind. I stick, stick my mayor's house in the far corner because it doesn't seem to provide any bonus for having it um, nearby anything else. Um, so. I don't want any roads, I just want one road to connect to it and then I just push it to the outmost corner. Um, it doesn't need waterfront. Got my farms together, um, they don't have waterfront bonuses either, I kind of just stuck them way the heck out of the way. Um, and all my factories and um, businesses are in this one place over here. On the, on the right side over here, uh, I have the businesses positioned next to the uh, residential areas because I understand that you know you get extra bonuses for being nearby. Um, I guess one of the f most important things I figured out along the way is that they say that the the homes upgrade automatically, but I found that's really not the case. Um, here is a 35 person house next to this giant oasis tower. Watch what happens when I demolish this or sell it um, I don't really care about the money I'm just getting it out of the way now when I go to build um, build a home where it was oh I had some extra spaces yeah it's, it's kind of hard to see um, what's going on sometimes when you have so much uh, high structures in the way there's no way to rotate the game it kind of drives me nuts but anyway let's check out these populations once I've um, gotten rid of the like preliminary uh, versions of them. Um, those take a second to upgrade. Um, yeah, so I, I've gotten some of the major um, things unlocked, as you can see. The Sports Coliseum, the Oasis Tower, um, the Archaeology, which was created from all those alien fragments that were a pain to gather. Um, I haven't really gone after any of the other like rare things around uh, like the waterfall. I pretty much expanded um, just so I could collect those alien fragments because I thought it'd be so great to have uh, you know that that main alien quest complete. Um, all right, let's go back to see. Um, hey, it still says seventy. That's strange. I wonder why some. Are rebuilt like that but someone some of them I cleared um, just got really big like they all sprung up from like the medium-sized 
balcony condos, they all kind of transformed into like the larger ones. Not really sure why that happened, but I was able to get about 10,000 more population than I had just by boosting those up. Um, my current quests right now uh, are, are hard to achieve and I'm about to quit the game over it. Um, let me see if I can drag the sidebars in here. Uh, so you can see the time-based quest. Five more neighbors. That's really not happening. I don't have that many friends that want to play this game because it's annoying. Upgrade the palace to three stars. All right, well, let's check it out right now. Um, where did I put it? I put the palace somewhere central. Let me zoom out. Yep, it's right here. In order to upgrade, I need a lot more resources than I have. Um, I'm pretty much going to have to farm this for days to get that many materials. I like how when it upgrades, it gives you a little bit of a bonus. Um, so you get that Im immediate gratification. Um, producing simoleons for me is no problem. Um, it's always the, the materials that I'm lacking. Um, I need to upgrade the sushi factory to one star. Um, that's going to depend on, guess what, materials. Um, I get the rare items, no problem, but then when it comes time to upgrade, I don't have that many materials. I guess that's why some people want to put factories near waterfront to get more um, bonuses for production. I may have to reorganize my entire city just for the short-term material production, which would be a big pain in the butt. Um, a lot of the quests right now are like, ask friends for this, ask friends for that, and um, it's just too impossible to get those things fulfilled if you don't have friends playing this game. Um, I don't really want to friend random people that I don't know just for the sake of playing this game, but I might have to if I really want to complete this uh, quest um, and get bitter rival relationships and foe buildings and all that stuff. So yeah, I hope you find those tips useful. If you see my city and are like, oh my god, it's totally messed up, you, you, you've been doing it all wrong, let me know, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.